Okay, I first wanted to show you up. Let's do a quick walk around of the car. Wanted to show you everything on it. Uh, just a, I figure a video does a lot better justice to it than a, just the regular normal, you know, pictures and all that kind of stuff. Um, she's mint, gorgeous, beautiful. Um, <laughs> been a wonderful shooter um, we're averaging well, I'll tell you that once we start the car I'm going to show you how you start the car um, you can use a key but we also have an app it's equipped with smart start which means if you have any kind of smartphone that's Android or what is it Microsoft or smartphone any kind of smartphone you can start your car using your smartphone basically just like that and you close down the app when you're done Put your phone away and you grab the keys. I left the keys in it, but all you do is turn it over and hit the brake and everything comes on. See how the lights come on? <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through the interior. We got enough light here. Let's go ahead and do it. Walk through the interior here. Uh, it's all in incredibly good shape. Nothing really to, to display or anything. Um, has all kinds of really kind of cool features. It's got this, you know, everything's adjustable. Tilt, uh, tilt, stereoscopic steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what they call it, but it allows you to be able to move through the steering wheel however you want. Back seat, same deal. Um, I'll get in it. It's got a ton of leg room. Um, this is me sitting in the seat. I'm a little bit taller. Uh, plenty of leg room. Uh, and again, you know, it's all in really good shape, not a scratch on it. Push this button right here, opens the back. And you got a generous amount of cargo space. Under here, your spare tire actually has the subwoofer in there. Um, it's all factory subwoofer in the, the uh, factory sound system is far none the best I've heard. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, I just wanted to give everybody a good look through everything so you can see that everything's on the up and up and just clean and pretty as can be. I'll go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Find the hood popper. There we go. Go over here. Find the little tab thingy. There it is. And this is the Mazda Skyactiv engine, which means it puts out somewhere in the neighborhood of 140, 150 horsepower, something like that. Um, it's not a speed demon, but it's pretty generous. Clean as all get out. <clears throat> but you'll average anywhere from, I'll hand you over to my wife here, and we'll go for a drive. I got it. Just leave it open. won't be gone too long but turn the lights on and everything uh, this actually has a uh, light that that turn whenever you uh, <clears throat> whenever you turn the lights turn to anticipate the turn anticipate the uh, the corner so they actually turn right and left and you know um, if you if you're turning slower they turn slower if you're turning faster they turn faster um, We'll pull on out here and take it for a drive. Um, if you look at the range on the uh, screen here, it has, uh, it'll do 400 plus miles on a tank. Uh, we're averaging right around 32 to 35 if we're doing highway miles. Um, it'll do over 500 miles on one tank of gas. It does, we've seen better than 40 miles a gallon if it's only on the highway. Um, it's basically done everything that they said it would. Um, we'll take a shot over the dash. Uh, what I also have here is if I click info, you have all your presets, everything, averages. If you click the button on the steering wheel that says nav, obviously you have navigation all built in, everything. There's a smart card butt thingy up here where you can update the nav. You download the new software and you plug it in. You don't have to go to the dealer to have it um, installed. I gotta put my seatbelt on though because it's yelling at me. You can turn that off if you wish. Um, we have sunroof. Oh, I'm, I'm retarded. I'm not working. 
I'm wearing the wrong one, aren't I? Oh, well, you should just let me do this. There, this is my wife's car. She knows how everything works. Mm -hmm. um, sunroof, uh, it's great. No leaks, no nothing. Okay. Um, I wanted to click it over. We have Shiftronic transmission. Uh, <clears throat> this clutch is actually a dual clutch transmission with a torque converter in it. So what it's capable of doing basically is delivering all the smoothness of a traditional automatic with all the shifty, quick shiftiness of the dual, the dual clutch transmission. It's an automatic manual basically. Um, it allows shifts that are, it allows shifts that are um, within a tenth of a second. Lightning fast. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with it. It does a really good job. Um, we've got another one that's a Volkswagen that's a dual clutch also. It shifts just as fast, but it's not quite as smooth. <clears throat> but just so you can see the power and whatnot, <laughs> shoot over the over here. And I mean, I basically I can downshift and you don't get any of the clunkiness. It downshifts straight down without any problems. Sweet little ride. Uh, roll the window up so we don't have to hear. We don't have to hear us. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that we could show everybody working. We have seat warmers, uh, leather seat warmers. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the options. The stereo, on the other hand, is pretty good if you want to hear it. I'm trying to get something with bass on it. Yeah, the windows are all tinted, all professionally done. Uh, it's not a doing your garage job or anything like that. Uh, the Smart Star, the Smart Start uh, technology that's in it that was put in was all professionally done. Um, none of the stuff's done in my garage. Uh, these kind of cars, I really don't want to mess with. Uh, I take it to somebody that knows what they're doing. Uh, no accidents, nothing to clear. Um, <clears throat> had the car for about a year. Um, with just us driving it, we bought it new, um, and we got into another car and just kind of looking to move this one. Um, I'm back over in Shiftronic now. It's pretty quick. It actually has a, a race setup. Your pause, your pluses on your transmission go downward instead of upward. So whenever you're driving and you're, for all intents and purposes, whenever you're pressed back in your seat, your downshifts or your upshifts actually, you pull the steering wheel instead of pushing it. Which seems silly, but if you're trying to focus on shifting and you're going forward, it's much easier to pull back than it is to push forward. I wish it's a feature I wish a lot more cars would have. Um, other than that, I don't know what else uh, what else to say. Um, do you have anything you want to add? You miss it? You're gonna miss it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we're, we, it's been a really good car for us. Uh, we think uh, anybody here, anybody who wants to get a hold of it, uh, they'd be really happy with it. Um, Anyway, we'll let you go. Um, good luck. Hope to see you over here buying our car. I appreciate your time. Thank you.